social comparison theory. This is a theory introduced by Leon Festinger, an American social psychologist. And this is where one determines his own self-worth by looking at other people's self-worth. In our case, it's how much we think other guitarists are better or worse than us. Comparing yourself is not inherently bad. For example, when you're looking at someone who's better than you, you have the urge to be as good as them and you're more motivated. You have the urge to be as proficient. And when looking at guitarists at a lower ability than you, you feel, well, massive ego boost, eh? However, like many things, social comparison theory is a double-edged sword. Think about the types of people who you regularly compare yourself to and chances are it's people who age. This is because we regularly compare ourselves to people who are similar to us in some way. In my opinion it's usually age. We usually compare ourselves to people who are our age and this is because it creates a more accurate representation of where we're supposed to be in life and what is expected of people in my peer group. Now, think about this. With this in mind, you have just seen a guitarist that's younger than you playing like a guitarist who is older than you. Basically, people like Max Ostro or Adin Finger or any like really young player who is miles better than you, somehow. And yeah, man, I totally get it. It's super humbling and you feel super disheartened uh, like any amount of practice that you do won't make you travel back in time and be as good as them. Now, okay, what I just said was quite an uncommon case, but if you do decide to compare yourself with others that are specifically your age on social media, chances are that you'll think they are at a higher level than you, more than you'll see people who are at the same or below your level of proficiency, which leads me on don't see. Now, think, just think about the video of the guitarist that has discouraged you. What is it? 5 minutes? 30 seconds? 5 seconds? Now think about how much deep focus practice and miming and editing and even fakery has gone into making that short clip. Uh, fakery is a bit extreme, but it, it can happen. My point is, you don't fully take into account what goes on behind that clip. And yeah, maybe they haven't practiced that much to make that specific video that you saw, but that's literally because of the hours of constant deep practice they've put in their whole lifespan beforehand. No, you're comparing this short clip of, a short clip of someone's guitar playing to your own guitar playing, which you've seen your whole life. In other words, what do you think is gonna happen when you compare yourself knowing all your failures, know, knowing all your imperfections, all your mistakes, all your flaws, all your weaknesses in your guitar playing. How are you going to compare all of that to someone's peak performing fraction of their life without even considering um, how much practice, how much editing, how much anything it took them to make that clip? You're discouraged because you think that you'll never be as good as these guitarists online, but you never see in real life how much they have constantly messed up over and over, like all of us humans. The whole point of social media is to post the best seconds of your life because no one cares about the rest of your life. No one cares about your uneventful day. Do you think that a video of someone making a bunch of mistakes, not purposefully, would just be popular, would just get lots of views? No, it won't. Social media is designed to make you and me feel very unworthy and that's why people are addicted to it because they they're so discouraged as they're looking at all these false realities that they don't want to um chase their own dreams and therefore they just distract themselves with social media by looking at other people's false realities i would just like you to keep this in mind every time you see another guitarist who has discouraged you but ideally you would want to do the following, delete the apps. And obviously I know it's not possible for like content creators like me who need the app um, to actually post. So 
simply having some discipline to reduce or stop, especially short form content will be paramount. Now, should you compare yourself at all? In any case, in my opinion, I think it's impossible not to compare yourself. However, you can 100% work towards comparing yourself less or comparing yourself productively. Now, comparing yourself to others who are slightly better than you and within your peer group is very good in my opinion because it motivates you to be like your peer group. Um, for example, if, if you're in a room with like 50 jacked men and you're not jacked, like, come on, you need to fit in. You're gonna start pumping weights <laughs> with them to be to fit in the group. That's just the truth. Otherwise, you're just an outsider. However, sometimes we have the habit of deluding ourselves, of saying that some of these people who are better than us at the same age or the same peer group are drastically different than us. Like, they have like a better guitar, they have richer parents, they what they have more opportunities because they're friends with this guy. However, these are these are all just excuses to make you stop practicing. Remember, there's also people on the other end of the spectrum who are very unfortunate, but also have gone on to become top guitarists. And if you want, remember, you can always look at um, people who are at a lower skill level than you, not egotistically, but just to remind yourself where you yourself have come from. And finally, and most importantly, the most important person to compare yourself to is, you guessed it, yourself. Preferably long term, I'm talking years, months, because if you're comparing yourself day to day, the, the change in progress can fluctuate as well as it's very minimal. So you will pretty much see almost no progress if you look at it day to day. This is why I recommend people to just video themselves, to just document your guitar journey, just to just to watch it back and see how far you've come, really. <laughs>